Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to Pancake and Pug. Or welcome if you're new here. My name's Elizabeth and I have a pug. I am wearing y'all's favorite sweatshirt today. <laughs> because when you're pregnant, nothing fits. I have like two sweatshirts that fit. And this one just happens to always be <laughs> in in a video. <laughs> so sorry. But um this morning I'm heading over to Fort Okay, that's weird. Heading over to Fort Carson. Um, I have a prenatal appointment and not really looking forward to it. I've been screwed over by this doctor's office. Um, and I wasn't gonna share this with you, but I am now. So, um, when I found out I was pregnant, I went to, obviously, the OBGYN. They called me in. I think I went, I need to look at my calendar for this appointment. I went in and I was like 13 weeks, maybe? No, I don't know. It was like 10, something like that. Anyway, um, sorry, this is dangling, it's my little plant. But, um, yeah, so I went and the ultrasound was fine. They're like, you're fine, I got my blood work done. And because obviously I'm overweight, <laughs> I have a really high BMI and um, chronic hypertension. I know that's more information than you needed to know about me and more than I needed to share, but I'm considered high risk. So the midwife that I saw, she said, okay, cause you're high risk. We really can't do too much for you here. So we're going to send you off post to this doctor. Here's your referral. Um, you're going to get great care over there. You're going to get lots of pictures of the baby. Um, they're going to do lots of testing on you just to make sure everything's okay. So I'm like, yes, awesome. Because we were moving and the hospital I wanted was like, it was like 10 minutes from our house. So I'm like super excited. So go for the 20 week appointment. Got to see it was boy. And then, um, went to an ultrasound yesterday. I needed a refill for some medication. So by the way, I have not had any care for me since that first initial appointment for the baby. <clears throat> so yesterday I needed a refill on one of the medications and so I was like, I need to talk to the doctor because I need a refill. The doctor comes in and I say, um, you know, I need a refill on this medication. And she's like, oh, your doctor over at Fort Carson is the one you need to talk to um, because they're supposed to prescribe it to you. Let's backtrack just a little bit. So my last appointment at this place when we found out it was a boy, um, which was my first and only appointment, I saw a different doctor and she just said, yeah, um, you're really gonna like the labor and delivery over here. I was asking her questions about um, like what I wanna do for my birth plan and things like that. So I was under the impression this whole time that I would be getting care over at this place. So fast forward to yesterday and I'm asking for my prescription. She says, oh, the doctor at Fort Carson is supposed to get that for you. So I, I asked her, so to reiterate, I'm not delivering at this hospital or getting care here. And she's like, no, this is just a place for your ultrasounds. Mind you, I'm 25 weeks pregnant. This is my first time being pregnant, so I don't know all the blood tests and everything that I'm supposed to be getting. So I have not had prenatal care since like the end of September. I was so mad yesterday. This is the first time I've had a pregnancy cry with history. We marched our butts over to Fort Carson and at least the lady over there was really nice and I am a, I am going to be getting referred off post to a different doctor. So I'm actually really not looking forward to this appointment because I'm still really heated from yesterday. And um at least I'm seeing a doctor today. I'm not seeing the midwife who screwed me over. So when the doctor comes in, I'm gonna lay it all out on him. I'm gonna be the best I can 
be in the best mood that I can and I'm gonna try not to be a Karen today, but this is beyond ridiculous. So at least I know the baby's okay because of the ultrasounds and they said nothing looks unordinary. Is that a word, unordinary? But me, the mom, I have not been getting care. And that's a really frustrating when I have essentially a chronic illness. So, I already know my blood pressure is sky high today and they're going to say something about it and I'm going to tell them why. But yeah, that's my little rant for today. So we're going to see how well I'm doing today at this appointment. Um, but yeah, let's get over to Fort Carson. and getting out of Sonic. Sorry, my little plant thing. But anyway, that doctor's appointment was a complete waste of my time. I cannot believe, I just, I cannot believe the care I've been getting. I am completely just really pissed off. <laughs> so, I go in there, first of all, it takes 40 minutes, like 45 minutes to get here. And yeah, whatever, that's fine. We chose to live where we chose to live. But my appointment was only like 20 minutes. So the doctor's like, oh, I see that you were you were being seen off, off post or whatever. So I explained to him what I explained to y'all earlier. Um, and like I need a, you know, need to get the referral to go off us, whatever. And all he did was ask me how I was feeling. You know, I told him what I was feeling, got it checked out. And basically is like, I, you know, because I haven't been getting prenatal care, I didn't know if there were labs I've needed. You know, this is my first time being pregnant. I know nothing. And so I asked him about the lab and said, well, you're going to see a new doctor anyway, so you should just wait until you get over there. Good luck with your new doctor. And that was it. That was it. No compassion, no apology for not being seen, nothing. I am so mad and so done, and I hope that if you're watching this and you're a military spouse, you need to stand up and advocate for yourself. You need to have your husband advocate for you if he's the active duty service member. Like, this is beyond ridiculous. But I stopped at Sonic, got some lunch. Should be okay after I eat. I'm just glad that I got my referral and I will no longer be going to the Fort Congressman Hospital. It is around three o'clock and I am sitting on the bed. I've been on the phone with my mom. I put away all of that laundry. There was so much laundry. Um, but now I'm gonna play a little Animal Crossing because I can. I have two gifts I actually need to wrap. I think I may actually wrap those first and then uh, reward myself with <laughs> Animal Crossing. Uh, Ray should be home soon. Um, he's having a little trouble with his car, so he's supposed to be like keeping keeping me abreast of what's happening on his way home.
fifteen PM. Just woke up from a nap with I guess this pretty tired. Um I'm gonna go get something to eat for dinner. I don't know if Ray wants me to make BLTs or we're just gonna do leftovers tonight, so let's go down and, and see. coming up on camera but it's annoying just want to thank you guys for coming along with me today for this day in my life and <laughs> suffering through my rants today but I like to be transparent with you guys so anyway this is gonna conclude today I gotta record my night team routine for you guys because you guys uh, wanted to see that make sure if you like this video to give it a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already you can do that down below because we're always trying to grow this channel and I want to thank those people who have subscribed in the last couple days so thank you so much but that's it for tonight and I'll see you in my next video